Welcome to my channel. So this is another video on Google BigQuery external tables. In this video, we will see what is the external table, how we can create external table in BigQuery using different options available. Okay. So first of all, we'll try to understand what is external table. What is the difference between external table and the native table? So in case of native table, usually we will create a table in a BigQuery and you will load data. It can be a batch data or it can be a streaming data. And then you will try to query the data. That means you will have the table definition and also you will have the data stored into the BigQuery. This is called native table. So what is external table in case of BigQuery? That means you will be having only table definition. That means a reference to that source data which you are going to query through BigQuery. But data will be somewhere else like GCS bucket or it can be a Google sheet. Right? We call this table as an external table. You will be having only table definition that is schema. But you will not be storing the data into BigQuery. Right? Okay. So, in case of BigQuery external table, we can query data which is available in the GCS packet. This is one option we have. It can be a CSV file or it can be a JSON file. Right. And also we can query Google Sheet which is available in Google Drive. Right. In this case, we will not load any data into BigQuery. Still, you will query the data, right? And also, we can query Cloud SQL data and also Google Big Table data using BigQuery. We call this concept uh, as federated query. So we'll we'll see that in a different video. But as part of this video, we will see how to create external table on top of CSV file or JSON file, which is available in the GCS bucket and also we try to create external table on top of google sheets okay so first of all to create external tables the user needs certain permissions okay im permissions so these are the set of permissions user require like tables create tables get data jobs create anyhow Instead of giving these individual per permissions separately, you can go for giving these rules. These are the predefined rules where we have all these permissions combined and uh, made as a role, right? Like data editor and data owner. If you give BigQuery admin, admin permission, uh, sorry, role, this role will have a BigQuery jobs create. So BigQuery user will have this uh, individual BigQuery jobs create permission, right? So it's better to give BigQuery admin or else data editor and BigQuery user or else data owner and BigQuery user or else you can individually grant all these permissions. Okay. So these are the permission required to create external data. And also since you are querying external data which is uh, we are not going to store inside BigQuery then you need to have other permissions if you are trying to query data which is available in the drive like google sheet you need to have at least a viewer permission on top of drive so trying to query a data which is available in the google cloud storage bucket you need to have at least these per these permissions i am permission like object grid so there is one more concept called let's say if there are multiple csv files or multiple json files available inside gcs packet with the same pattern we are trying to create external table by combining all this similar pattern files then you will be using a concept called wildcode you will be using uh, some pattern and then you will use the star symbol right so i will show you that when i'm trying to create external table right so you need even storage object list permissions right i hope you understand okay now let's let us go to the demo quickly right so right now i'm into my uh, GCS console, sorry, GCB console, Google Cloud console. Uh, you can see uh, in my Cloud Shell environment, you can see these are the different uh, uh, files available where I've created to demo all these concepts, right? So there are different options we can use to create external tables. One way we can create external tables using CLI, right? 
command line interface and also we can use ddl statements right to create table and also we can use python api to create this table. so in the first option we will see ddl you can see i'm trying to create a table external table which is referring the data which is available in the gcs packet this is a gcs packet if you go to the gcs packet this is my gcs packet i have placed two files like csv files and json files so i'll be creating tables on top of these files in the first case in the ddl case i'm creating excel table using this csv file right you can see this so format is csv this is a uri this is referring, referring to that gcs bucket path as i already told if you have a similar files like this bulk right bulk one or bulk two or bulk three something like that if you have multiple files inside that gcs packet then if you are if you have to create external table you can use this pattern star dot csv so that external table will be created and by combining all those csv files that means we will be able to query the data which is available on all those csv files okay i hope you understand this concept you understood this right so i'm going to create this table so this is anyway it's a ddl statement right so let me use my BigQuery editor to do that so i'm just running right so now this table has been created in this data set just click on this table you can see so this is a schema go for the details since you are not storing any data inside BigQuery that's where you can see table size is zero right and you can still see this external data configuration details like so it is referring data from GCS bucket and I didn't go for auto detect schema then it says uh, right so I guess yeah we'll see since I uh, I haven't uh, defined any schema if you see right I just specified format CSV uh, and URI is a GCS bucket I haven't defined any schema that's where it by default it's gone for auto detect schema right if you don't specify also it will go for auto detect schema the source format anyway it's CSV okay now let's try to query this table right so let me run this query you can see now we are able to query this table yeah this is one way in the second option we'll try to create external table using cli commands right so here actually i'm using two two commands or two steps to create the external table in the first step right i'm trying to define the table configuration here i'm using json file that's where our source format is new line delimited json and here also i'm going for auto detect and referring gcs bucket you can see it's product details right and i'm just storing all this configuration into this one, table definition so i'm using this table definition over here while creating table here i'm using bq command line to make def is a keyword in the first case in the second case bq mk table external table this is the configuration right now i'm a, i'm going to create this table as part of this data set right now we have only one table uh, let me run this command one by one then let's see right authorize now table definition has been created now i'm going to create this table right so yeah now this table has been created quickly go to the bigquery editor refresh it right so now we should see two tables as part of that data set okay now i have two tables right this product details has been created just click on this anyway if you see the schema it's a it has a nested column in it nested field in it go to the details same thing just check the uri to detect two and now the format is new line delimited json right let's try to query this table in okay
you can see this data right nested column record data type or struct data type right you can see now this is the second option now we'll go to the third option we'll try to create table using python api right so let me try to explain this code high level quickly anyway it's import statement here i'm trying to define project and data set then this is the table which we are going to create it is again referring the data from gcs bucket using this is the URL. this file is part of the same bucket right and if you, if you see right this is a schema i'm just defining the schema explicitly uh, in json format these are the columns right name column name type whether it's nullable or not so in json file right now i am specifying the data location or path this is the format csv format right and i'm going for skip header rows or leading rows because anyway i've explicitly defined the schema i don't want header so that is where i'm going for skipping header right then configuration right i'm now creating the table by using this method and then once it is created immediately i'm trying to query the table using this okay query so let's start from table limit table. then i'm printing those tables okay now let's go to the cloud command line cli let's try to uh, run this script right Now we should create one more table in the same data set right and you can see the results right top 10 rows first 10 rows okay this is how you can use python api to create external table now let's quickly go to the or query window and try to refresh this page let's close all this okay now we should see three tables available as part of that data set Now you can see yeah this is the table which we have created using python api details right okay, same thing csv we have opted for skip header row that's where it's showing one right try to query this table right run you can see the data now now let's go to the google cloud console option where we'll try to create table from google sheet okay now let me go to the data set select this option this is a this is a uh, fourth option or fourth task we are doing here go for a drive because google sheet is part of a drive right now go for drive URL. so this is the sheet i have so i would like to create table by using this sheet so this is a sheet ui URL. Right, this is a sheet. Right, go to and paste the query over here and select the format as a Google Sheet and sheet range. What do you mean by this option? Go to the sheet, okay. Anyway, this sheet is uh, having a number to each cell, right? If you click on a cell, it will give that cell number, right. If you would like to query a limited data up to here, for example, I want to query only this much data, then you have to specify the sheet range starting from A9. Sorry, go to the top, starting from A22. For example, you would like to query up to here, right? F27, right? You can specify that range, right? So let's go and try to give that. If you click on this, it clearly says, okay. This is an example how you can specify the range sheet range. So if I paste here, right, like this. So now this is not if you if you go to this sheet again, it has different sheets uh, in it, right? This is one sheet CM. If you have one more sheet like CM2, then if you like to uh, create table on top of any sheet, then you need to specify that sheet name. This is the sheet name is CM, right? Now we have to specify that cm over here right that's it this is how you can limit the data using the sheet range 
but in my case i want everything i'm not going i'm not going for this option now that is it okay this is a, you have to specify the table name right so so that you can specify table name as cm master ext okay this is external name now if you see in case of google sheet you will, you will have only one option that is external table table type is external always in case of google sheet right so i don't want to go for auto detect i can go but now i would like to specify my schema explicitly go for okay or else edit as text okay so i have this schema over here let me select this is the schema right if you see symbol description sector index category these are the same column names right you can see this is the schema now i would like to specify it as a text okay now there is some problem separator should be comma okay now it's okay separator is always comma now it should be fine yeah <coughs> sorry now go for advanced option so skip header row because anyway i am specifying my schema i don't want my header right so i am going for header rows to skip is one now create table now it should create that external table you can see table has been created <coughs> sorry go to details now you can see URI is google sheet URI right auto detect false because i didn't select anything source format is google sheet skip leading rows is one now you can query this table right okay. just try to query this table Okay, now you can see the data so this is how you can create like the external table using google sheets i hope you understand all these concepts right different options available to create external table so there are some uh, other options also available to query data which is available in the cloud sql and also cloud big table so we will try to uh, do a video and that concept uh, right in upcoming uh, videos but in near future okay thank you thank you all we'll meet in the next video